typical day for Tommy the Poet Bishop as the boxer prepares for the fight of his life. He's favored to win in an upcoming match with Michael Robinson because of his hard work ethic and signature swagger. I'm the cash cow, man. I'm the prize fighter. Nobody can beat me. You think you can beat me? I will put you in the ground. No one doubts that Bishop has mastered the talk. You wanna fight me? Fight me! But now he must master the walk by training hard. After a politically incorrect poetry reading where he earned the name of the poet, he has everything to lose. Why would you ask me about the poetry? We're talking about a fight here. Why, why are you asking me about poetry right now? I'm not gonna read any of my poetry! That was in 2007! I'm a boxer now! A boxer! I reached into my pockets to find my keys, but then I realized these pants don't have pockets. Poet or not, it won't matter come fight night. Bishop is trained by the infamously irrational and eccentric boxing trainer with the God-given name, Lord Orlando Ziggy. Ziggy's resume is stranger than fiction. He boasts four hip-hop albums, has written a book on the fisheries of the Arctic, and has a PhD in ornithology. As the fight approaches, the two get ready for battle, and Lord Ziggy's unique workout begins. Hey, uh, first things first, uh, which way is west? Lord Ziggy only allows to train on his terms. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, what's it? That's Hitler. Fucking Hitler. Yeah, some people call me unconventional, unorthodox. There's no textbook in the streets. Keep the chain! You gotta be the Titanic, but don't sink! Okay. There's no fruit on the shish kebab. The Nina, Pinta, and the Santa Maria. That's how you do it, Lemon Drop. After a hard day's work, the two call it a day. All of Bishop's spare time is spent with Lord Ziggy watching his every move. Yes, yes. Uh, no, it's been good. Been working really hard. I've. Hey, you know what? Um, ah, uh, yeah, I've got to go. Uh, I just got. I gotta have someone watch me pee. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Terrific. At night. The two study video in order to learn more about their opponent. They each have their own approach. Bishop's opponent is former champion Michael Robinson. Robinson makes music both in and out of the ring as a top-selling pop artist in Germany. A week earlier, Lord Ziggy stated in a press conference that he feared Robinson's use of headphones was performance enhancing. What he meant was Team Bishop would have to take things to the next level. Former Russian fighter Nikolai Petrushka is brought in from the outside after serving a five-year suspension from the league. I uh, used to be a boxer, um, but then I have a problem with the alcohol, the drugs, I hit my wife. But uh, then I found a church, uh, but I volunteered so much that it interfered with my boxing career. Nikolai's blush past is apparent in his fighting techniques. Bishop is up to the task for the first day. The next, he feels differently. We had to let Nikolai go. There was a bit of a language barrier between us. What you want? What you want? What you want? What you want? Don't ask, don't tell. It's a bit of a language barrier between us two. With Nikolai gone, Bishop realizes it's up to himself to train in the coming weeks.
Ziggy's late again. Uh, you know, he's been late most days now. You know, the fight's coming up. We got to get training. And you can't do that if I don't have a trainer here, you know? I was in the women's locker room for like at least a half an hour. Uh, I'm sorry, I had no idea. But my, uh, I seem to have a key for the place. But we'll laugh about this later. Let's just go. Man, what a long f***ing day. Ready to start? <sighs> Tequila. He knows not to mess up, because if he messes up, then he's got to get a tattoo of the president of Antigua, who is a personal friend of mine. We fought back in the day. Um, I was disqualified. It was unfair. But, uh... Yeah, you know, you gotta keep them motivated. You want that f***ing tattoo? Good. <gasps> Beautiful music. I'm gonna make it my ringtone. Oh. <coughs> my work here is done. Forgot like everything I brought with me. Bishop's blocking ability does not protect him from the blows that await him in the kitchen. No, Tommy. When are you gonna stop fighting? You know, every time you go out and get punched in the face, I feel like I'm getting punched in the face too. And what even happened to your eye? Ziggy punched me. Ziggy punched you in the face. Ziggy, the man who fights blind people? So, uh, I used to fight in a, a blind league, but, uh, unfortunately I had to stop because people don't like it when they find out that you're not blind. Um, that's just one of the rules in this country, but, you know, I know back in Cuba and in Moscow that they don't have those rules, and that's why those are better places, and I like fighting there. But, that's just a part of Lord Ziggy. Um, is that, is that a f phone? I told you, no f phones in here while we're training. Well, wait, it's me. It's me. It's Lord Ziggy, don't worry. Uh, Tommy Bishop. Hey Ziggy, it's not working out. You're fired. Who told him about the f***ing blind boxing? You did. The day before the fight, Bishop's fans gather on a rooftop to celebrate. Tommy Bishop! Even Lord Ziggy makes an incognito appearance. I just want to thank you guys all for coming out and supporting me. You know, it means a lot to me because, you know, it's important for you guys to see me now because I could be dead. I gotta go piss in a cup now. Thank you guys. Later that night, Ziggy reflects on the day's events. I mean, no, I don't care. I'm just gonna go upstairs and have a hot bath and throw in some marshmallows, you know. Can't, can't have too many marshmallows, of course. And probably I'll listen to some Enya. Um, just the usual, you know, post-boxing routine, except I got fired, but no, I don't care. And in other news, eccentric boxing trainer Lord Ziggy was today found dead in his home after he was believed to have consumed over 200 marshmallows. His body was discovered just hours before Tommy Bishop was expected to enter the ring. There's no fruit on the shish kebab. Now you do it, lemon drop. The work is done. You gotta be the Titanic, but don't sink. You gotta swim without getting wet. Really? It's about boxes and freaks. I was in the women's locker room for like at least a half an hour. Do what's in your heart, lemon drop. Lord Ziggy was once asked if he was scared for Tommy Bishop. He laughed and said no. Then again, he died of marshmallow overconsumption. 
combinations, whether in words or punches, make the poem. Or fight, depending on what you're talking about. Through writing or fighting, all a man has is his tools. And when Tommy's fighting, he uses his gloves. Despite more Ziggy's best efforts, a pen cannot be used in a fight. A writing utensil or a sharp object in general in the ring is completely illegal. And just like that, it's over. Knockout in the first round. First round knockout. He's unable to beat the kid. With all the stuff that's been happening with Ziggy, um, I kind of realize, you know, I'm not a boxer at heart. I'm a poet. I'm not a boxer, I never was. For the littlest piggy, life can be tricky when we become too picky. And time talks and tickies for Stephen, Bob, and Vicky, but not for Hard Ziggy.